Hey guys, we're at Cracker Barrel right now. We stopped here for breakfast. We're going to Cedar Point today. My parents have the kids. We should have a really good day. I'm excited. Here we are. We're at Cedar Point. We uh, left kind of late this morning, but uh, it's 11.02 right now and um, looking forward to riding Steel Vengeance. We're here. We're at Cedar Point. We finally got here. It's uh, 11.03 right now, and we're just pulling up uh, to the main entrance where the parking lot is. Looking forward to riding some roller coasters. So we're pulling into the parking lot right now, and I'm looking at all these roller coasters. It's been a couple years since we've been here, and seeing these roller coasters, every time I come here, I always get a little bit nervous when we first get here because it's like we haven't gotten any rides out of the way. What I was saying to them earlier is that when you get to Cedar Point, you can't just start off on a small roller coaster and work your way up. You kind of got to just dive in. You got to go to the one of the biggest roller coasters, get it over with, so you get those nerves out, and then you're good. So it's like we're, uh, I, we normally ride Millennium Force first, like when Megan and I go together. But this year, since Steel Vengeance came out, I know the lines are going to be long, so I want to go to Steel Vengeance first especially with us getting here a little late. The longer it gets, the longer that line will be. It's really loud, the hill, the lift hill. People oh man, have... I'm about to get on this thing. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Whoa. Getting a little nervous here, guys. Getting a little nervous. We're about to get in line for this. So we just got done riding Steel Vengeance. What did you think, babe? That was the best roller coaster I've ever been on. It was awesome. The inversions, the airtime, everything. It was great. That was awesome. We're at Chick-fil-A again. We just had it on Wednesday when we went to the zoo, but we're obsessed, so we decided to have it again here at Cedar Point. And they didn't have it two years ago when we came here. They had gotten rid of Chick-fil-A, but um, they brought it back, so we definitely wanted to have it today. to the Millennium Force. That's one of our favorites. Oh yeah, definitely one of my personal favorites for sure. We don't know yet how long the wait's gonna be, but we're hoping it's not gonna be too bad, but we'll see in just a few minutes. There's the dragster. So change of plans. We're not gonna ride, we're not gonna ride uh, Millennium because uh, the line was an hour and 15 minutes long. So we're going to the front of the park because it's later in the day. We've only got to ride one ride and I was thinking, my logic was, people who are in the park today work their way back, most of them, unless they were all, a lot of people are going to Steel Vengeance. But a lot of people are not up in this part of the park uh, later in the day. Like back when Young and I, my friend Young and Sean, when we'd come here, usually it was like perfect timing to come here at this time of day to the front of the park and ride the Raptor and um, Gatekeeper and those kind of rides. So we're hoping that the line is going to be much shorter right now for these rides. Not much of a wait here at the Raptor. So we're gonna hit this first and then go over to Gatekeeper. This is basically a walk-on. There's like no line. The first ride we went on Steel Vengeance was like two hours. So it's nice to go on a ride where you only have to wait like 20 minutes or less. We just got to ride the Raptor twice. The second time we went on the front and it was so much better. It was a walk-on so it worked out really good. We got to ride it two times, just like I thought. No line. We're on our way to Gatekeeper now. Last time we came here, we got to ride that one a few times. 
because it wasn't very busy. So hopefully it'll be the same this time. Let's see what the wait in this one is. 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Less than. Less than 15 minutes. Awesome. We rode Gatekeeper. That was basically a walk on. That was so much fun. I enjoyed that. Did you like Gatekeeper? Oh yeah, definitely. Now we're gonna head to the Millennium Forest and check out how long the wait is now. Either way, we want to ride that one before we leave, so we'll probably um, wait no matter how long it is. Oh uh, yeah, I got a special place in my heart for the Millennium Forest, so that's like one of the rides. Every time we're here, we have to ride that ride. Steel Vengeance is shut down right now. We were trying to ride that for the second time today, but we can't. It's closed. I can't go on Feels nice to sit down and relax in the train. Well, we just got over to the Millennium Forest and they're shut down due to mechanical issues. So who knows if we're gonna get to ride that today. Not very happy right now. I was really wanting to ride it, but it is what it is. We just got off the Millennium Forest. They actually opened it back up. So that was our last ride before we left. Still my favorite. trip after all. We, uh, Millennium Force shut down a couple times. Steel Vengeance was closed most of the, day, of the day, but we got to ride Steel Vengeance. We got to ride Millennium. And we got to ride a few other ones a couple times, so it worked out pretty good. We had a great time at Cedar Point. We're about to head to the car now. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah, it was a fun time. Worked out really good today. Yeah, we got to go on all the rides that we wanted to, so it worked out perfect. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.